The National Agricultural Biosecurity Center, located at Kansas State University, was created in 1999 with the arrival of Dr. Jerry Jacks. His prior career in the Army in biodefense research led him to understand the risk and the threat that U.S. agriculture and public health faced from a variety of disease agents that were circulating around the world and would more than likely eventually come this way. National Agricultural Biosecurity Center has a variety of projects uh, that we have worked on for a variety of different governmental agencies. Um, I like to describe the universe that we work in as a continuum and uh, this structure of the universe that I'll describe actually comes from the emergency management community. Um, on the very front end, you are looking at the potential threats that you may face. You try to assess the risk of that threat being actualized. At that point, then, you, you attempt to look at mitigating that threat. What can we do to prevent it? It's very crucial that we remain nimble and able to address a variety of emerging issues and emerging diseases. It's very difficult to do that. If we were able to do that now, we wouldn't be surprised by um, the various disease outbreaks that, that we see. Um, that in a perfect world, we would be able to anticipate all of those things. But it's not a perfect world. So we depend on a variety of sources of data um, to try to remain nimble. And, and we do this by trying to think outside of the box. Higher education could be a very, very important element in creating a, a body of knowledge and people who are well trained to deal with these issues. Uh, once again, coming at it for me from the veterinary perspective, I was totally unaware of how highly organized the emergency management community is. And they have a particular worldview and they have a particular way that they organize the world within emergency management and how they operate after an event. And it's terrific. And rather than the veterinary community or the animal health community trying to recreate something, this is a perfect way for higher education to be able to take the emergency management construct and teach the animal health community this construct and teach by also extension the emergency management community particular elements of disease control. Science-based research can assist um, agricultural, uh, veterinary, and human public health by by providing information by which we can make appropriate decisions for response activities. Now, the NABC is not an organization that does a lot of benchtop research, though certain of our projects have elements that are very much benchtop research elements. But if we step back from that specifically, and look at science in general. What we can understand is that we can understand how particular disease agents might move within the agricultural sector. We need to understand the environment of these organizations or, and, and organisms. We've found in our work at NABC that the social sciences are really critical. We've had a long-standing relationship with the behavioral health group here on campus and have worked with them uh, for the most part being, uh, being assistive in some of their projects where they look at 
the behavioral health aspects of a crisis. And they have, they have come to us to talk with them about agricultural crises. What happens in this particular crisis? Um, what, what, would, what might be the impact on people involved in the crisis? And we've been able to talk through those issues with them, which helps them to better prepare uh, and better prepare their delivery of services to people in the community if they understand what's going to happen in an agricultural crisis or what's going to happen in the response to an agricultural crisis. At NABC, we are hoping that we can provide a location where the public can begin to understand um, what we're doing with respect to trying to anticipate a variety of events and what we're doing with respect to assisting the animal health community, the emergency management community, um, federal agencies, state agencies, um, the law enforcement community to be able to respond to some of these events to be able to obviously control and eliminate as much as possible some of these incursions of foreign disease.